In this video, I show you how to fix Valorant not opening. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And now let's go and jump straight into this guide. In this guide, I'll be going over multiple different fixes you can try. So let's get into this first one. So for this first method, what I recommend doing is going opening up the task manager. Just come to the search button on your computer and go and type in task manager, just like so, and go and open it up. And here it is. I'm gonna zoom in on this for you guys. Now what you need to do is make sure processes is selected and scroll down and you want to go and look for either Valorant or Riot Games. So keep scrolling down, it's sort of alphabetical order. As you can see, I'm now on R. So yeah, keep looking for it. It may not be here, but if it is, you need to go and find it. And as well as checking this processes tab, what you can also do is come to this top and go and tap on details, just like so. And you can also go and look for it in here as well. So once again, scroll down and see if you can see anything to do with Valorant or Riot Games. And if you do, what you then need to do is go and click on it. I'm gonna do this for OBS, for example. What you want to do is make sure it's highlighted blue and then press end task. Sometimes these programs sort of launch half or for example, Valorant may have sort of half launched but nothing visible and therefore it's blocking it from being loaded. So then all you need to do is go and tap on it and then go and press end task. That's just an example, WCS communicator. Press end task and once you've fully ended all of the different processes, Valorant um, and Riot Games, then come back to your desktop and try and launch it. So yeah, try that guys. The next thing I recommend doing is just going and restarting your computer. This is also sort of, sort of just like a basic thing you should try, sort of like ending the task. It just goes and removes anything which may be open. As I said before, sometimes these games half open and don't fully process and end up getting stuck. So to go and restart your computer, you can just go and press the button on your computer or just go and press the Windows icon, then go and tap on the power button and go and tap on restart. The next thing you need to do is make sure all of your drivers are up to date. So come to the bottom of your computer and go and tap on search and then go and type in device manager. So type in device just like so. And here it is, it'll take you straight to your control panel. I'll just go and bring it in for you guys. Then what you want to do is go and look for display adapters and go and expand it just like so. And this is gonna show you all of your, well, your display adapter. So you may have an, an Nvidia one, in my case I have, or an Intel one, or an AMD one. It doesn't really matter. But what you want to do is right click on the card you have, or the, yeah, the card you have, and then go and press update driver just like so. Uh, and then you can go and press search automatically for drivers. And it's gonna go and make sure you've got the best driver installed as that can sometimes be blocking uh, and stopping Valorant from opening up as well. Now for this next method, what you need to do is either go and right click on Riot Client or Valorant on your desktop, just like so, and wait for it to load. And then what we need to do is go and tap on open file location. If you're on Windows 11, you may need to go and tap on show more options. And then I can go and tap on open file location. Then here it is, and what you want to do is go to this top bar here where it sort of shows you uh, the path to this file location. Don't tap on it just like so, and then right click and go and press copy and copy this information here, and you can now go and close off of it. Now what you need to do is come back to your search at the bottom of your computer and go and type in graphics just like so, and open up your graphics settings just like this. Here we are, and wait for it to load. Then what you want to do is scroll down to see if you've already got Valorant or Riot Games added here. In my case, I don't. So what you need to do is go and go where it says add an app, go and select desktop app and then go and tap browse. And then what you want to do is come to the top here and go and paste what we just copied in. So you can do control B or just go and paste it in like so manually. And here we are. Then make sure you go and tap Riot Client Services and then press add just like so. And as you can see, it's now added to this list. And what you want to do is go and tap on options and make sure high performance is selected and then go and save it. It's just worth trying that. If you still can't go and launch Valorant after all of those steps, then what I recommend doing is going and reinstalling uh, Riot Games and Valorant. So come to the bottom of your computer and go and tap on search, and then you can go and type in remove programs, just like so. And as you can see, you've got this setting here for add or remove programs, and it's gonna go and launch and wait for it to load. And what you want to do is either go and search or just scroll down to go and find either Valorant or Riot Games or both basically. And then once you've found it, all you need to do is go to the right hand side and tap on these three dots and go and tap uninstall, and then try launching Riot Games or Valorant again and see if you get any luck with it guys. I hope one of these methods did help you out. If it did, please go down below and say leave me a like. Peace.